Hello and welcome. The MAX 35100 series Time to Digital Converter Family is a series of devices that measures time intervals with a high degree of precision and repeatability. They're most frequently used to measure fluid flow rates by computing the difference in the times of flight of ultrasonic pulses transmitted in the direction of the fluid flow and pulses transmitted against the direction of the flow. And in particular, the MAX 35104 contains additional circuitry that allows its use for gas flow measurement. Now in this video, Sean, one of Maxim's applications engineers, will walk you through the best methods to configure and test a system using the Max 35104 time to digital circuit. Sean, what are you going to talk about today? I'm going to uh, talk about the Max 35104 EV kit and how to get it up and running quickly. So what we're going to do is talk about the software that comes with it. We're also going to hook up a scope and talk through what we see on the scope, uh, what signals are important and how to dial in the register values in the chip using the PC software to get a working system, which can be used for a starting point for your firmware development. So this information is from a firmware engineer to firmware engineers, really talking about chip configuration and a, a few gotchas that you need to look out for. These are the transducers I've been using for the demonstration. These are AudioWell 200 kilohertz air transducers. Uh, well, they market them as natural gas, but they'll work for any kind of gas. Anyway, what I've done is created this tube out of paper, and I insert each transducer into each end of the, of the tube. And what that gives me is a, a reference of a known distance between the sensors and zero airflow in the tube, or, or near zero. And this is a nice place to start when you're first bringing up the EV kit and becoming familiar with the chip and your transducers. Okay, I've got my our test transducer hooked up and I'm going to attach the scope leads. So channel one, we're going to grab this ground right here. And then I'm going to connect to the TXUPP signal right there. And really, we could use either one of those, the negative side of the differential pair or the positive. It really doesn't matter. Um, okay, so channel two is going to be connected to the CIN signal, which is the input to the comparator. And we really want to know what's going on with the comparator, because that, that's going to uh, be what tells us uh, how to tune the chip. So we can grab it there, and you notice I just stuck a little piece of wire in that screw down terminal to access that signal. All right, scope level, or probe three is gonna be, we'll grab this ground, and we're gonna connect it to the CMP out, which is right there. And that's the output of the comparator. So we got the input to the comparator and the output. We have a full view of what the chip is seeing and how it's determining when to stop the measurement cycle. So now you've seen how to prepare the transducer assembly for the test and how to instrument the evaluation kit to begin testing transducer performance. Now, in the next video, Sean will show you how to operate the EV kit GUI and begin measuring time of flight data. See you then!